Hey guys, this is Alex from 4C Trading and today I am on HBAR USDT and we have traded this one uh, before on stream and you know it had a wild reaction like right now I was just ironing that it pumped just today for like 70% and already if you look at the left side we already went over to the top so now we can uh, I was thinking that we can maybe go on a little bit of a lower time frames and try to capture just some of the bullish continuation that it is on it right so I am pretty sure there was some sort of a news or something on this coin because I don't think they would pump uh, that much just out of the blue. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna clear the charts and let's kind of see what kind of opportunities are on there. So I also like to mention, yeah, there was some thought uh, about uh, cryptocurrency today coming from America. It doesn't really matter, right? But it it did plummet uh, Ethereum just a little bit, and Ethereum right now is it in a long area as well. So yeah, uh, Ethereum right now for like 12, uh, 12,050 was a pretty good long area and hopefully it's going to go up and going to continue on its bullishness, right? So we can get some more of that as well. So yeah, it's a pretty good long area. So if you conjuncture it with this, right? So you can long Ethereum or you can actually long some of these alts and you can see that these alts right now are reacting really nicely and they do bring in at the end of the day a lot of money, right? So yeah, right off the bat, I'm gonna scroll a little bit to the left on a higher time frame just to kind of see where the area should have been. And the area right now, I'm going to draw one. It's gonna be right here. It's gonna be one right here located at one. And now if I go on a little bit of a lower time frame, like one hour or something, I can already see if this was tested or not. And if I do check it out on hourly, it was already tested. Okay, so now, seeing this i can make one uh shorter time frame area as well and then pick between the twos or even better than picking between the two setting a trade on both of them because one of them will give you a nice reaction right so yeah the first trade is trading area this one is going to be a little bit more risky one it's located right on top right so if we take something like this and we, you can now see uh, where we started the pump it was basically from here right the last candle of the pump was basically from here so if we retrace all the way to down here it's basically from this uh candle that the pump that it recently happened just is a 60 percent uh, sorry it's a hundred percent retrace from the pump and it's usually when you have quick pumps like this it's what usually happens or like should say what usually on the you know alts what they like to do is definitely they like to retrace on these fast pumps down to the origin of the pump test the origin of the pump and then move further right and since we already have tested this area here i do have to be a little bit more aggressive you know in this case to take a trade like this but since because we already pumped so hard as well, we do can go a little bit under and test this area again because it wasn't cleanly tested as something like this, right? So that's why in this case, we will be setting up a two trade. So if you're taking this trade, do set both of them, right? Because, you know, you don't want to be stopped from one and then, you know, just another one leaves you behind. So when it comes to it, uh, I'm going to be setting a trade right here. So the first one is going to be set right here on a 100% retrace with the stop loss just underneath this bink just a little bit like i'm not gonna put it all the way down to the green box because i do think if you get stopped from here you're throwing some money away so i can e easily save about a percentage maybe two right i mean let's see how much it is. really is probably not that much from the next field oh it's actually two percent right so it's not too bad either so yeah just saving a couple of percents here and there can do a lot for your bankroll to begin with right now i'm going to look at the weekly just to kind of form sorry uh, daily just to kind of form where the profit take should be and if you look at it from the left side this is the kind of gap that we're most likely going to test after the pump retraces all the way down and comes back again so this is probably going to be one of those uh, trades when you're going to be uh, you know when you kind of you're gonna be doing something like this comes here then does a little bit of reaction here or maybe just breaks it cleanly right you don't know but if it does you know we still gotta take some profit takes here because just for the fact that you know you don't know if it's gonna bullishly continue because of the nature of the retrace right because you went pretty deep on that retrace right so as the first profit takes so our entry is at uh, seven cents right and again all of the prices can be seen on the right side of my screen everything is here right so the profit take then is at 8 cent or 12% or 2R. So yeah, I mean, it is starting off to be a really nice trade and we're only at the first profit take, right? Secondary profit take, we're most likely going to um, go, even have to go on a lower time frame to uh, really see it for. And we can really see where the gaps are starting to come in and the gaps would be located around this, oops, uh, around this area right here. Bring your total all the way up to there 
is 42% or uh, 10 cents actually, right? Or 6.6 R. And this, in this case, this would, even though I did mention like, okay, I did mention that this is like where I would um, prefer for this coin to bullishly continue, right? I would have said that I would take majority of the second profit take just because that retest is going to be so deep, right? So all of this retest that we are taking on this trade is going to be particularly very, very deep, right? So I do think if it comes all the way down to here and starts pumping, we're most likely going to see a big rejection at this area as well, right? So in this case, I would like to go forward and you know take the majority of my tps off at second one and maybe just leave like a 10 to 15 percent for a runner like we spoke last night in the uh, stream right about the runners so yeah it's the same it's a pretty much the same thing well now uh going forward i'm going to delete this one right uh, and focus on the secondary one the second area that was indeed before we left off we were testing it before and you know it was perfectly tested but since we have gained over the sum of the levels to the left and even broke all the time high we can now regain our uh, we can now rebid this area and you know act like it's it's never happened right before so now where we're going to be placing our stop loss we're going to have probably a little bit of feather one than the one we had above and you can really see that the uh, stop loss due to nature being a little bit of a thicker area it's obviously a follow. We are being followed by the feather stop loss as well, right? And in this case, the stop loss is nine uh, percent, almost ten percent, right? We can make it like that, nine to nine point six, ten percent. It's pretty much there, and the stop loss is at five point seven cents, right? And our entry is at six point three cents. And again, right, all of the prices can be seen on the right side. Now, in this case, you might imagine that we would be taking a profit day here, but that is not true, right? Because this area now pretty much they, it represents the same area as this one down below so i would be skipping the profit take on this area and just focusing on the first profit take that we indulge already in the previous area and you can see even though we have a little bit of a fatter stop loss right even though we have it's still much better on the first profit take because we do on the first profit take we do have 2.4 r or 23 percent or at 7.8 cents so you can see it really it really pays off even though it really pays off to play a mainest area sometimes more than these bullish uh, continuation ones and it's also in retrospect it is much safer when it comes to it right and now stretching this target a little bit out as well so it's gonna match uh, our trade better and if i move it all the way to up there right now you can see it's 60 percent uh 60 percent or 6.2 r or 10 cents at profit take right and again this is one of those trades where i'm taking mostly off at second profit take right i'm not leaving a lot for uh, a lot for continuation because the thing is right i mean look at this right uh, we are going to be testing it Let, let's just see this is like 40 percent follow if it comes to down here and you're most likely not going to pump that much without a retracement especially on a mainest area that you're now creating at the moment right you're most likely have a have a some sort of a you know test then it would probably reject a little bit and have a little bit of a retracement where it would allow you to refill your trades that's just my mostly logic when it comes to this when it comes to such deep retests but you know most cases that's why i just would like to take i take most of what second profit take and then with the third profit take i just leave like a 10 to 15 percent runner sometimes not even that and i should be doing that more as i already mentioned last night but you know sometimes I'd, i leave like 10 to 15 percent of runners and then just uh track them with stop losses right so i just track them with stop loss underneath these areas as they form and they pump further i just put a stop loss underneath underneath it and that's basically the logic how you should approach this when you uh when you have nothing to the left side right and you have to continue with the trade right so yes guys um please do subscribe to our channel like the video uh, share it with your friends right i do hope this trade plays out as well it is pretty cool trade right it just happened today uh so yeah we'll see how the retracing is going to take place right and also, right, uh, uh, join us at 4C, uh, 4C channel where we discuss stop losses, discuss this uh, sort of trades or, you know, just uh, talk about Bitcoin analysis and Ethereum analysis, right? It's just uh, Ethereum analysis right now is also pretty good one, uh, especially in the case that Ethereum just retraced down. And since I'm making this video, Ethereum already moved for $30. So, yeah, I guess the long area was pretty good indeed. So, yes, thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.